Southwest Nigeria, Ogun State Governor Dakwa Biodo has disclosed that the government will distribute food palliatives to 300,000 households in the state. He discloses at a press briefing in Abiyokuta, the state capital. The food palliatives, the governor said, are rice, gari, and other consumables. He also announced the injection of 5 billion naira in the state economy in order to cushion the effect of the subsidy removal uh, on the residents uh, of the state. Also to Lagos, uh, Lagos Governor uh, Bawajide Somolu, uh, 750 million uh, spread out across 15,000 um, Lagos traders uh, as part of the Lagos Market Trader Money. The governor launched the Lagos Market Trader Money initiatives in Ikeja with beneficiaries uh, showing their appreciation. Let's get to Fidelity Bank now. Fidelity Bank has extended the tenure of its uh, group uh, managing director, chief executive officer, Dr. Neka Onyeli Ikbe, uh, from 20 2024 up to 2026. Arise Business Analyst Chika Mbono joins us to discuss these headlines. Chika, good morning to you. Thank you so morning, much. Morning, how are you today? I'm fine, sir. Uh, look, you've talked about every bank possible, so... Fidelity. Fidelity yes, today. Yes. Yes, I indeed. mean, and um, the interesting thing about this, why I, 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 I'm happy talking about this, is um, because of our young young um, uh, ladies, young girls, yeah. who grew up, so that there is debt of scarcity of um, quality mentors, mm. uh, models, role models up there. Yes. Uh, what our young people these days focus on is um, role models on this, uh, social media. Kim Kardashian. Uh, through BBLs <laughs> and um, such other things. Some, you know, uh, uh, people, Ice should, Prince. people should live their life. But other role models, you know, um, like with Happy Celebrate uh, Mrs. Neka and Yali. And then uh, yeah. two days ago, so we spoke about tragically, though, um, the circumstances under which Miss um, um, uh, Bolaji Abwede has yes. is, is come elevated now to um, look after um, uh, uh, assets bank holdings. Yes. NECA. It's a lot of joy to talk about NECA because she was also, she worked under me at the time. You know, we you have links to every <laughs> bank MD. <laughs> you are talking about every we yesterday. Yeah, at the time. Amazing. You know, at the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, so she knew, we knew she was destined for the top. Yeah. Quality education. Uh, uh, two law degrees, one locally and one from the one from King's, King's College London, mm. and the uh, and the prestigious um, <laughs> UNA in Western Nigeria, so yeah, really this really get my doctorate. Oh, okay. And not this ones that we get on our Ikrodu Road and uh, <laughs> down, down, downtown hotels yeah. in the, in Lagos where they just put your gown on you and they suddenly <laughs> become answering, answering doctor, you know that. About thirty four years in banking experience, yeah. you know and. So we, we know that she's done well. I mean, when she came in, I think January 1, 2021, right. this program yeah. also celebrated. We talked her. about it, yeah. Yeah, and but the, 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 it was a, an open blanch of paper then and said, let's see what she can do. Right. Move price, sharp prices from about two naira. Okay, um, exactly. To uh, about 11 naira, 40 cover that it is today. Yep. You know, under, the, under these last three years, she's been under that. The profit before tax has grown. From about 28 billion she inherited in 2020. Yeah. The last 2023 they did about almost 122 billion. You know, you can see that's a massive growth, about 64 percent on uh, com compounded annual, 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 annual growth. Um, to that deposit also the bank has, has spiraled, has grown so much. Yeah. She inherited a, tot uh, a total asset of about less than three trillion, mm. and she's growing to double the to about six trillion. That's and uh, you know, if you note that. The the smallest of the fugas, the yes. top five banks, about eight trillion. Yes. So you can see that fidelity is yeah, um, they are getting there. Getting there, you yeah. know. Uh, she's done other things. Consummated the euro bonds for about four hundred million dollars for the bank. And uh, you know also the one we did on this program, where they acquired the Union Bank yes. um, um, London, because fidelity had has had international banking license all this while, but they couldn't activate it. Mm. But that let them do that. But it wasn't. It's not only the financial matrix alone. The other soft things, because I I said that she must. You know, look at the the woman things. She should be a little pasha to the to the ladies. You know, yeah. Uh, and um, but one of the things, you know, in these days of um, um, palliatives, fidelity even started palliative before this our governor started. Uh, consistently now for some time now, every month they share about ten thousand packs of um, food yeah. around the all around the nation, and they work with young ladies and female entrepreneurs uh, in her this apprenticeship scheme started for 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 women. And um, there's an interesting one, and this, there's this, in this place in the Kurudu, Dreamcatchers Academy, where yeah. they train young girls. Okay. Uh, Fidelity went and set up, set up again, with her push, there, um, uh, uh, a computer center for the young people. Yeah. So she's 
She's, um, you know, she's, she's tried. Done a lot. She's done a lot. Yeah. And um, uh, I think the bank is going to go into for a public issue very soon. Right. And yeah. I, I guess that um, with these fundamentals, uh, I'm sure that it won't be too a uh, hard sell right. for uh, people like you and me to, you know, <laughs> to participate. By, uh, participate in that. You know. Yeah. So I mean, we wish her uh, success in her second term, mm. and hopefully many more. And then from there. Uh, Nigeria, if you should release her to Nigeria. Exactly, to, you know, to serve. To, to serve, <laughs> serve our country, you know. Indeed. In other things, because she has the, the fundamentals are right for her. Yeah, yeah. All Fantastic. right, so let's let's push Boom for Fidelity Bank. Yeah. You want me to talk about uh, palliatives? Palliatives, you know. You, <laughs> <laughs> support from you the know, state governors. I, I, have, I have come to this program several times and I'm vilified, as, as I said, Brothers and sisters in yeah. the studio, has any of you gotten this uh, palliative? Has any of your relations gotten this palliative? And each time we do this throw poor, nobody you know seems to have got that. Well, yeah, I mean, yes, Sam Wolu, I hope I get it right. right oh, yes, from the yes, yes. Legos, our eminent Legos governor has started his own yeah. with the market um, trader, market, money. Market, trader yeah. money. Yeah. You know, you know when you mention trader money, it reminds me of those Shibajo days when he was going around the market. Exactly. You know, passing the and it was always happened that he always does it near election. You know, so that's why what's you know. So yeah, some of us have developed that stigma therefore towards all these initiatives. One, you know, do they give it to um, um, their polit people they perceive as their political supporters mm. and then sideline those they believe they don't support them? Yeah, you know, me, we're all Nigerians. Exactly. You know, when the rain is falling. It doesn't fall on PDP, it doesn't right. fall on the APC, it doesn't fall on Labour. It falls on all of us. Yeah. Like now, all of us are suffering. Everybody is suffering now. Um, you heard what the Emir of um, um, the... Former Emir. No, no. Oh, uh, Sokoto. So, 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 yes, yes, Sokoto. Yes, 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 yes. Thought about, you know, uh, this. And so, um, we thought about... So, we're happy that the governors are now, you know, you know, opening the vaults to bring out this money that they have locked down there. Mm. And so, Lagos governor is starting initially with the 15,000... Um, for Lagos tra Trader money. Yeah. You know, I'm not here to, you know, um, talk about the selection process or whatever, right. but let it be given to Nigerians. Yeah. Uh, at first, it's given to Nigerians. You know, he tried to say, oh, yeah, that, um, um, you know, to show that uh, Lagos is a city for all, um, he has spread it around, the beneficiaries are spread from around the city of the country. But I mean, in, the, in, the, in the, what he pushed out, you will see that it's not fair. But mm. it's okay, let's leave it at that. <laughs> you know. But the issue is that everybody who benefits is the Nigerian. Yeah. And so let, the money will you know, seep away. If it enters uh, his pocket, somehow <laughs> it enters my pocket. Exactly. You know. And even if I'm not from the right side of the country, you know, but it's okay. So yeah. we'll comment the, 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 the governor. governor and, Similar um, story in Ogun State. Ogun State also. Yeah. I mean, we've, Ogun State is um, a state that we thought that will have so much potentials, um, but because they approximate Lagos. Mm. Indeed, a lot of industries that are in Lagos now have all run away to Ogun State. Mm. So the, the, the IGR is solid. I think they have the, one of the best ratios in yeah. Nigeria. And, but we keep saying, what do, they do, what do they do with the money? Right. You know, because a lot of the roads there are really, um, you know, not terrible, mm. terrible. And we hope that the, Mr. Abiodun, in this second term, I think the second term yeah. now, yeah. you know, people don't know that the four years will soon pass. And he become an ex governor. All right. So let's him try and uh, have some legacy projects. You know, get a rose in the uh, state done. Usually, the, the bigger or quality construction companies will do it. I'm not talking, I'm complaining about the federal government. Mm. So he's a certain and and I see how he's layered up. Yeah. The structure is very nice. But you know, Nigeria, what is it? Implementation. Right. You know, you've always said that. Implementation. So yeah. that, uh, you know, uh, uh, one million naira will leave the government vote. But by the time he reaches the it's, end point, it turns to uh, ten thousand naira. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, and um, they, so they will sign that. Uh, uh, yeah, this in Mongol community has collected one million naira. Yeah. Meanwhile, what the collect community collected was ten thousand naira, yes. and you know that's how it happens in Nigeria. <laughs> but you see, so it amazes me sometimes why our governors or people in authority don't try to find out what happens at the last mile. Mm. There are ways to find out about whether the things initiatives they're doing yeah. have actually gone to the last mile. Not just stay in your office and then push out billion, billion. Every time you hear a billion, 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 billion. And the billion, 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 not, none of it touches the citizens of the country. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you recommend the governors that's more to be done. Remember what talked about in this program. Yes, we did. That from the fact allocation arising from the uh, devaluation of our currency, their money, the money that comes to them spiraled away. 
and you know it became the money became too much. But the issues the, the citizens of the country, nothing has uh, their life has not uh, changed. Yeah. We hope that this will continue. And, um, and, and in that respect, I, actually, I'm not going to put you on the spot on minimum wage. But do you? Does it? Is it? In, in, um, is it important that that minimum wage discussion is ended quickly and a decision you know, is made? You know, I said it some time ago. I said, see, look, brother, if you want to, if you really want to increase somebody's salary. You don't be holding committees and committees and committees and committees. And we only you, you just, increase it. You just increase it. Do you understand? Yeah. They start up this committee, committee with another committee, another committee will review what committee you another committee will review. So before they know it, did you remember when we started talking about this minimum wage? Yes. This the, the devaluation has not happened. Right. So whatever they're discussing now has to be jettisoned right. and thrown in the dustbin because it's made a mockery of the whole thing. 35,000 naira then right. is not 35,000 naira now. Correct. And it, committees are still meeting. meeting. If you want to do this thing, just do it. When they were buying the 100 uh, uh, million SUVs for the... They, they, didn't, they, didn't, deli they didn't deliberate. They didn't set up committees. <laughs> eh? They didn't set up committees. They just did it. You know, and they told us that uh, once they had to come on air, yeah, said that uh, you know, our cars are not strong. Nigerian cars are not strong. Uh, you know, they have to drive Japanese cars. Yeah. You know, they just did it. But now you reach to the uh, minimum wage, you want to do committee and committee and committee and committee and that committee will be committee. And committee. Before you know it, the dollar will reach 2000. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll still be meeting. <laughs> I'm meeting, you know. We hope but they hurry up. Yeah. You know, it's our country, you know, it's our country. Yeah. Uh, hopefully. So our president, where's our president now? He's going no, it's, to it's, um, uh, ADB, AU yes, something. Yes, African yeah. Union. That's where it's now. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I say sometimes that. You know, one time I went to, uh, what's the name, Côte d'Ivoire. Yeah. We just landed and we came out at the airport. All of us could actually lie down on the floor at the airport and roll there. Our white shirts were not spoiled. Yeah, yeah. You know, all of us were doing, he, he, if you go to Ghana airport, in the same thing. You know? Right. We want to come to our own. As you come out like this, <laughs> this will be, this will be, we'll be sweating like this, we we'll be sweating like this, and then, the uh, uh, skeleton. You have to wake up so it doesn't break your yeah, leg. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You know. Now our president has traveled. Now he go to Ethiopia. We had things to work. Yeah. And when they come back here, we just be managing. It just amazes me. Sometimes. We have to improve. We have you know, to just improve. an African giant. It just we have because to improve. basic simple things that yeah. we need to do. Of course. And this is like, I always say that governance is very simple. If you really want to love the people, mm. because there are so many. Our country is so badly run that there are so many low hanging fruits. Low hanging fruits, yeah. you know, and that, you know, and that if you just try, people actually appreciate you. Yeah. Actions speak louder than words. Yeah, you know. Arise business analyst, Chica and Bonichica, thank you for joining us. Thanks I appreciate you as well.